Cannabis, the source of marijuana and hashish, was introduced to Eastern Africa from Southern Asia and dispersed widely within Africa, mostly after 1500. In Sub-Saharan Africa, cannabis was taken into ethnobotanies that included pipe smoking, a practice invented in Africa. In Asia, it had been consumed orally. Smoking significantly changes the drugs pharmacologically, and the African innovation of smoking cannabis initiated the now global practice. Smoking pipes were invented in Sub-Saharan Africa as early as 600 BCE. Archaeologists have found pre-Columbian pipe sites from Lake Chad to Ethiopia and south to Botswana. Africans invented water pipes historically associated primarily with cannabis and dry pipes associated primarily with tobacco. In the Maghreb, Kef became the nickname for cannabis, meaning roughly the high. The proper name for the psychoactive cannabis was Takuri. The word derives from an Arabic Takur, a region in what is now Western Sudan. The ethnoem Takuri eventually applied to the people across the Sudanian region. The name Takuri for cannabis was also recorded in 1903 near Zindar, Niger. Cannabis reached Western Central Africa in the era of the Atlantic slave trade. Western African cannabis cultures seemingly trace to the Middle Zimbizi region, where many languages share plant names like Ayochamba, a Ja term with the terminal MB sound. Cognitive terms occur westward to the Atlantic, particularly Dabandi, Labandi, and Rabamba. Enslaved people from the Zimbanzi Valley began entering westward coffles in 1720s. Their numbers increasing after about 1770. These captives disembarked at ports from southern Angola to Kabanda. By 1803, cannabis grew wildly in Angola, where people smoked in the calabash based water pipes. In the 1840s, a British botanist recorded that Diamba came with slave coffles from the east because slavers valued it in their feeble attempt to manage slave help. Slave caravans continued carrying cannabis to the coast until the late 1800. Slaves valued cannabis as a subsistence medical plant and a stimulant. The plant grew as a weed in agriculturally marginal sites. The only known record of seed saving of any plant species by a slave in Africa is the observation from 1850s Gabon where a man kept cannabis seeds to plant wherever he may disembark. Sissi Peri is a character in Brazilian folklore. He is a one-legged black or mulatto youngster who smokes a pipe and wears a magical red cap that enables him to disappear and reappear wherever he wishes, usually in the middle of a dust devil. This indigenous character was appropriated and transformed in the 18th century by African slaves who had been brought in large numbers to Brazil. It's a very interesting story. Cannabis horticulture and use are briefly documented among Brazilian slaves and in records of slave liberation resettlement in St. Helena, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Jamaica. Central African names for cannabis occurred historically in Brazil, Jamaica, and Colombia, and Panama. Indeed, the Central American Spanish term marijuana seamlessly derives from the Kambandi plural Mariamba.